Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. At least 10 people are dead after a car bomb exploded on a road leading to the airport in the Somali capital of Mogadishu on Wednesday. Officials say among those killed are five soldiers. The deputy governor of the region, who's also in charge of security, said a suicide bomber targeted a security convoy near the heavily fortified international airport. El Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the latest car bomb attack. Police are currently pursuing the group and have also launched an investigation into establishing the motive behind the attack. The military group has openly attempted to overthrow the central government and impose strict interpretation of Islamic law. It's also known to carry out frequent gun and bomb attacks on security and government targets and also on civilians. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Wednesday apologized for attending a bring-your-own-booze party at his official residence during the first COVID-19 lockdown. Mr. Speaker, I want to apologize. I know that millions of people across this country have made extraordinary sacrifices over the last 18 months. And I know the rage they feel with me and with the government I lead when they think that in Downing Street itself the rules are not being properly followed by the people who make the rules. Johnson first admitted to attending the party at Downing Street in May 2020 when social gatherings were limited to a bare minimum. And now opponents are calling for the Prime Minister to resign. So when my constituents were making unimaginable, unimaginable decisions, he was hosting a boozy party in Downing Street. So how does he think he can still maintain the one rule for him and another for the rest of us? Yeah. He cannot and he must resign. Turner says Johnson is only sorry because he had been caught. At the time of the party, rules in the UK banned meetings of more than two households, including meetings outdoors in gardens. U.S. online purchases during the 2021 holiday period hit a record high of 204.5 billion U.S. dollars. According to the Digital Economy Index on Wednesday, consumer spending online increased 8.6 percent compared to the same time in 2020. The record spending spree during the months of November and December also included 38 days of $3 billion or more in daily spending. U.S. consumers also spent a record $855 billion online in the full year of 2021, indicating a strong growth in the digital economy. The holiday spending period from October to December represented 32 percent of total online annual sales in 2021. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.